Howdy guys, Dakota here with Kindle the Fire and today we're going to be discussing in this short video how to start a fire using a magnifying glass. Stay with me. Alright guys, so a magnifying glass is just another way that you can have fun learning to make fires. Uh, I usually keep mine in my belt pouch kit. You can keep yours around your neck or in a small pouch that you keep in your rucksack. doesn't really matter. It's up to you. These are just uh, various different ways that I've learned to make fires so that way I don't have to use the fuel in my big lighter or constantly strike sparks with off my ferro rod. I'm not wasting any energy. I'm just using the solar energy to try and make my fires with these. So with a parabolic lens, I want to hold it at the correct angle of the sun that I get a nice round swatch of light right here. Now I'm going to bring it closer into my target and you'll see my light will start to get closer and smaller and smaller. That little tiny one is the one that we're looking for. If I go in too close, it'll widen back out and we don't want that. So you want to pull back until it's as small as you possibly can get it. And that's when it's the most intense. On paper, it'll look like this. See, so that'll already start to burn a hole in that paper. So now let's go ahead and get our tinder bundle and we can go ahead and see if we can't get our tinder bundle lit. So this is just some dried grass that I collected. I just took my hand, I just kind of raked through the grass that was dead and this is just kind of what came out. There's some leaves in it, but that's fine. This is actually my wife's favorite tinder to use to make a fire because most people don't even think about it out here in Utah. Most people are going only for juniper bark, which is fantastic, but this is usually everywhere and you can usually find it pretty well. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to end up zoning that light down onto a spot right here. You'll see it start to smoke. And once it starts to smoke super heavy and I'm starting to get really fast billowy smoke coming out of it, then I'll blow it into flame. So remember, I'm going to play with it a little bit and try and get that nice small area you see it already smoking so quickly And it looks like today I didn't even have to blow on it. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's on fire now. So that was only, what, maybe 60 seconds at most before it went on fire. Well guys, so that's how easy it can be to start a fire using just a magnifying glass. Go out, find your wand, play around with it. It's just a fun, different way to start a fire next time you're on a camp trip. Uh, again, I keep mine in my scout kit. Don't have to keep yours there. If you'd like to check out my scout kit, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Thank you very much for staying with me for this short video, guys. I'm out of here. See ya.